Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If this is your first time here, if you're a new viewer, please go down and click subscribe. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. We do handle all types of networking, security, voice over IP, all those good things. If you're a return a viewer or a subscriber, thank you very much. I do really appreciate each and every one of you. Now, what we're going to talk about tonight is I get asked often, very often, how we handle high availability in a Grandstream UCM PBX system. And the best way that, that we have found and the way that we do it is we use the Grandstream UCM uh, 6510 which I've got a gaggle of Grandstream uh, devices behind me. Somebody said that on my, uh, my YouTube post, the picture. Gaggle of Grandstream. I said I have a plethora. So I've got two 65 uh, 10s behind me. And uh, then we use the Grandstream HA100, which I have right here. And the Grandstream HA100 is a piece of hardware that you do not have to configure. The configuration is done inside the 6510. And I'm going to do a video on, on this this weekend. But I want to show you this piece of hardware. This piece of hardware, I think, uh, comes in at, um, depending on where you buy it, I think $199 uh, USD or $299. I'd have to, I'll have to double check. But uh, very inexpensive for what it does. And so there's no configuration on it. You do upgrade the firmware on it. There's instructions how to upgrade it from the actual uh, UCM. So the firmware on this device that I'm getting ready to show you gets upgraded from the UCM. So I've got the device here. And uh, inside the package, I'm going to show you what you get here. You get the HA100. Let's take a look at this. So on the front of this, you're going to see a lot of familiar ports and a lot of uh, just familiar things. So on the front, we've got WAN A and B, LAN A, B and uh, A and B, T1, E1, J1, A and B. Then we've got FXO, one, two, FXS, one and two, and A and B. So the A and B comes in because we have UCMA and UCMB when these are plugged in. And then on the back, you'll see we've got a couple serial port connectors and we've got um, FXS one and two and FXO one and two. We've got T1, E1, J1, LAN, WAN. And then of course we have 12 volt port and a grounding lug on the back of this. So it also comes with, and this is actually, it's really easy to set up. It seems kind of confusing. Um, it does come with the rack ears. So we have rack ears to rack mount this. Then it comes with this USB to serial connector. And each of your UCMs uh, plugs in. In the next video, we're actually going to set this up. And I'm going to show you more of the details about it. Um, and then, so you have one of these for each uh, UCM that plugs in. And then you have a single power adapter here. And it can provide PoE uh, pass through to a device. Now, it only provides PoE to one uh, device, so you still do have to use some of the, the power bricks, but the way this is set up when you get into HA mode is you have to lose two out of three pieces of equipment before your phone cluster goes completely down. So you have to lose a UCM and the HA, and in fact, if that were to happen, you could actually still function um, because that other UCM is still going to have um, is still going to have the configuration, right? So it's really interesting how this works, how this HA100 works. Um, what it does is when you configure the uh, the UCMs, and you're going to see this when we do it in the next video. But when you configure it, they each have the same IP address. And I know what you're saying, you can't do that. Well, this piece of hardware acts as like a block in the middle that allows that to happen. So this sits in between those two UCMs 
and allows them to each have the same IP address. And then when it detects that one, the master goes down, it automatically, um, within a second, switches over to the other UCM. It's a very interesting way of doing it. And we are starting to deploy a lot of these. Um, I actually uh, have four of these so far that will be deployed this year and they work really great. So we'll, uh, we'll hook it up to the uh, 6510s, like I said in the next video, because I actually have to get these uh, configured and, and shipped out. But I thought that you would like to see how we're doing this. A lot of people ask how we are doing high availability and this is how we're doing it. And so it's a really super interesting device and a super interesting concept that works. It works really well. So if you're interested um, in, you know, seeing this in practice, watch for that next video that's coming out. We're going to get another Synology video out um, and then I'm going to get this out. And then I've got a small, small business set up with Grandstream as well that we're going to get out. But uh, I, I'm excited to show you this and show you how easy it is and, and how easy it really works. So, and if this is something that you're interested in deploying in, in your Grandstream environment, you know, you can reach out and we can talk about that and take care of it. But that's it. Come back for the video where we're going to hook this thing up. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment, share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need that IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks, that link is down below. Um, if you'd like to use Amazon affiliate links, and I did leave an, an affiliate link to this, uh, those links are down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks over to the channel. Once again, I want to thank you for being here. Come back for the setup video. I'm Willie, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.